Hello my lovely Capricorn, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are going to find out what's coming for you this week, November 21st through to 27th. Capricorn, how are you doing? I really hope you're doing great. Just keep in mind this is not one-on-one -on -one reading. This is a general reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising. So take the messages that do resonate and drop the rest. Oh, we have a very chatty card today. Don't be shy, subscribe, join in of course and like and comment if you feel that way. Now, we have a new moon in Sagittarius in your 12th house. And it's very mysterious. <laughs> yes, it is. Because it is regarding your spirituality, your psychic field, your R&R. &R. Um, yeah, this is interesting. This is something maybe you're not uh, very often using or doing. But it's, uh, it's there. It's there. It's there. Nine of Pentacles. Boy, oh boy. Uh, Capricorn, why are we having... Why are we having... Oh. Yeah, Scorpio is here as well. We're always talking about money with you. Always talking about money with you. Magician. Oh, Rebirth. Page of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. This is interesting, isn't it? Four of Cups and the Fool. Mm. You're giving all. I love, and probably you've heard before, I'm going to say again, I love the way tarot talks to one another. So in regarding your psychic field and spirituality, look how beautifully we have these cards coming together with the death card, transformation, magician, and the fool. So it's kind of real lovely cycle, like real kick up your bar. And it kind of feels like, why are you reading a book? I see you reading a book or... Or, up, yeah, reading a book or learning about things that are important for your soul. Because you might have feel that you are stuck somewhere. And I very often read this card differently. So very often I read, this is kind of like gratitude time. You may be feeling that uh, you want to be grateful and, and want to pay that attention to what you got, right? Even though the universe is giving you another cup. Now, where in this kind of... You know, Case scenario, the fool is coming and giving you that courage. Giving you that courage. It feels that like you might be missing some sort of light in your life. You know, there's some sort of enlightenment needed. And some, you know, very often, sometimes people say, oh, after this event or after I read this book or something, my life changed. I opened the door to new spirituality and I learned so much things about the world and myself including but it kind of does feel that if it feels good dive in dive in there is something you are interested maybe you are a bit maybe passive in a little, little bit of ways or being putting off because you're working too much or whatever but with the fool and now with the magician as well it's definitely it's a good 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 timing for you to spend time on yourself and invest yourself that time meditation whatever that is now with nine of pentacles this is this is not taking away from you wanting that money or you wanting that independence but this is giving you that feeling of i'm in charge as well if the god heard us talking about this he would probably laugh right but it is about feeling that you are in charge of your spiritual experiences or you know, the way you think the way you manage not control but manage your life manage things and relationships and it feels that you are really kind of taking that charge and maybe you need to take that charge okay maybe you've been so so busy wrapped up in, in everyday events that happening and we all been there right we all been there that we are like monday starts and we don't realize it's sunday already and that happens or you might experience a, an, an event in your life, for some of you guys, Capricorn, that were suddenly there is some enlightenment happening. Now with the death card, this is most one of the most prosperous and progressive card because the sunset is coming. The rose is telling it's the rebirth and waters of it just signifies the life. The life is always going on. It's ever flowing. It's the energy. Energy of flow is going on. Maybe that was lacking in the four of cups. That four is a bit stagnant sometimes, right? There's not, not enough of emotions of energy flowing. And it's the white horse where the death is coming in and saying, 
the life is moving on and you need to move on as well maybe there has you might have some sort of heartbreak of some sorts or you might might have felt that you are down but it's now time for you to this oh yeah thank you it kind of feels that you are discovering new you kind of side of you that was neglected for whatever reason either this was work relationship life etc children you know you know the everyday chores that we do and sometimes we neglect ourselves our spirit but the mind spirit and body work in three and that needs if any of them in any of three at any point is being neglected all three are feeling it you know that's the one that's the one and magician says you don't need to reach no further you got everything you need sometimes people say oh i need to finish a course i need to do this and that you have everything you need right in front of you just open your eyes and uh, ask for guidance okay let's say if you want to kind of change your life change your your um the way you view things maybe um, ask for guidance and here you are it as you i love the way the cards talk to one another you need the advice here's the messenger here's the book here's the film here's the conversation that will kind of help you on this journey that you are embarking and look how queen of pentacles she's really she's really man, a real manifester and manifesting not just money and but it health wealth mental well-being spiritual well-being no one talks about that that's so important you know we talk about very often we talk about a physical mental first physical first state but there is a mental first state there's a spiritual face there first aid and it might be that you are in a in a, in a, a situation where some of you you might need this a kind of boost of light that is coming from from above from within even now capricorn this is something pretty deep indeed now defense nine of wands it might have been that you had a lot of wall around you you mean you might have been very um careful not letting people in your life because you might have been hurt before but the fence is is really kind of making you stuck in a ways you know you're functioning you're functioning but you kind of maybe have been stuck in a ways that there's no energy flow and something needs to give something needs to give endurance seven of wands it does feel that you are kind of like trying to prove either you're trying to prove to yourself or others your worthiness but your worth you are good enough and you don't need no one else's permission no one tells his approval. This one. Options. <laughs> I love the little turtle. Um, option two of pentacles. Look, regarding um, two pentacles, here we are. You can only focus on one thing at a time. Either that's love or fear. Love or um, what's the other one? Or hate. <laughs> Positive or negative. And that's your free will to decide. Okay? That's your free will to decide. Luck is on your side. And look what do you have here? New moon in Sagittarius. So this is a brilliant time for you, Capricorn. Brilliant. You put in new seeds down here as well. And it's like a, the seeds are... The pentacles are seeds as well. You put in your new mindset, new seeds down... Aha, uh -huh. okay, Leila, 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 Leila. Spend time alone in nature, meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask angels to help you gain a positive perspective. It might have been that you have felt a bit low in your spirit, right? Low in your mental health. And this time alone, you kind of absorb the beauty from nature or allowing to connect with your heart source. There's better thing. There is something better. There is always something better. So it kind of makes you unstuck from whenever you felt that you are uh, being dragged into. But it's a good, 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 good reading. It is. It is. 
with the fool and magician coming in together and support these two ladies here really strong you have as if like you have this kind of strong support from the universe you're safe like as if like you've been cocooned in a safe place it's just they're protecting you so you can awake yourself or like a reawakening right and discover the new uh, spiritual gifts the new spiritual experiences wow that was so so beautiful thanks so much for being here that's all i have for you i love you and leave you and i'll see you in the next reading take care